Are we live? I think we're live. Should be live. Yo, we live. Oh no. Looks like Hello. we're live. Okay, yeah. the audio's alright? Nah. Yep, yeah, mic test, mic check. Mic check. Where's the mic? Mike, are you with us? <laughs> okay. I'm New campaign. Audio seems pretty good. Yep. Find where I've written down how yeah, this was. Uh, we're going to do a more theater of the mind kind of campaign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, the glow shrooms light up the cavern and bugs start chirping, indicating a new day in Brightboro. We'll open in Krios' uh, Crystal Emporium. Krios, describe your character. Sure, so Krios Ithadere is a uh, crystalline earth ganasi. Uh, his upper body is made mostly of, of crystal in various colours and forms, jutting out into a vaguely humanoid shape. And beneath that, a like um, collection of rocks connects him to the earthen floor of Hades. Um, his crystal emporium that he's inside now is full of all sorts of delights um there's no floor it's just goes straight to the rock there's, it's not tiled or anything it's just a, a straight to the the ground floor um and there's no multiple levels to this shop it is just a single floor thing uh the entire structure of the shop is built out of one massive crystal chunk that's sort of been shaped in different ways so any light coming through is reflected in all sorts of weird ways um and yeah so that's that's Creost. yep so I was just getting the shop ready as you have your first customer today um a gallop der named caleb so basically a boulder with legs have just walked in a morning Creost. Caleb, welcome to Creos Crystal Emporium. What can I do for you this fine day? Well, it's getting pretty cold in the where I live, so I thought, you know, anything we got to warm it up. I need to make sure my place is always good for visitors, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, yes, all the visitors that we all have. Um, I think that I have just the thing for you, dear Caleb. Uh, now, this particular crystal, it's it's a a very rare one that I got from up north. Some traveller came down. It lets off some ambient heat. That's why it's so red and shiny. Yes, if you put it in the centre of your home, then it will keep it a nice balmy temperature all year round. And if it gets too hot, just put a bowl over it, and then you don't even feel the heat. It's brilliant. Sounds perfect. What do you perfect. say, my good friend? I'll take it. Okay. Uh, now, what would you what would you be paying with? Uh, I don't know if you you ever done if you'll take this, but I found this the other well on the way here. And he hands you a um well not hands somehow passes to you because he doesn't actually have arms. Um, yep. what appears to be sort of like a clear crystal. Um, Ooh. give me a what would you be? What would this be? To in oh, something you're good at. Let's see. There aren't many of those. <laughs> Let's go Arcana. Why not? Sure. Already thrown in the towel. This yep. seems to be some sort of crystallized water. Oh. So uh, Krios sort of summons a little earthen hand from the floor. It reaches up and it's got this stalagmite-style protrusion from the bottom, just holding it up into the air. And it picks up the crystal, waves it around in front of his face. He's like, ooh, very... Yes, yeah, this will do. This will do nicely. And then, you know, he takes it into his real hand and the head grabs the, the hot crystal and gives it over to Caleb. Thank a deal is done. It's sealed. No take backsies. No worries. See you next time. Bye, Caleb. And he's just going to hobble out. Hope that that warms your bed like the incubus don't. <laughs> And then Krios is gonna just like float behind his little uh, his little desk and start studying that crystal that he's now got. Yep. So Probably it's... putting it in a big collection of others. Yeah. So it's sort of crystallized water. So ice, except it's probably around like 
25 degrees about the room temperature and the ice doesn't seem to be melting at all. Very, very interesting. Oh, good. I full thought you got scanned, my guy. It was just, <laughs> it was just ice. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah, all good. Okay. Now move on to the sheriff. Who's just going into the police station. What does the sheriff look like? The uh, sheriff's going to be sitting at the sheriff's desk. I imagine like the, the sheriff's office is not going to be huge. We're in a small town after all. Yeah. We've got yeah, we've got Alabaster Kakoi. He's a Earth Genasi. I think he's like white rock with a funky brown rock mustache. Uh, sort of like brown police uniform, but also with like a cowboy hat on it. He's got a Two daggers strapped to his waist, and a slug blaster. It's yeah. when you say it out loud that it really hits home. What? That <laughs> you're wielding a slug blaster. It's just a slug blaster, there's nothing to yeah. it. Just a regular run-of-the-mill slug blaster. Yeah. Alright, so you walk into the station, Linda's at the front desk, not just a Earth Genasi. I'm just going, oh, morning Sheriff! Morning, Linda. Uh, the Johnstones are complaining about the fence again. The Felspar's kids, Badger Mole is missing. Uh, the school's wanting to ask about some security for the ball. Uh, you got a new deputy. What? What was that last one, sorry? You got a new de deputy? It seems like I didn't know anything about this, but the paperwork all looks somehow legitimate. Um, you familiar with Capital? Oh, who? What? Oh, what time is it? It is like, you've just got, you just rocked up to work. God damn it, I got more paperwork. A kid's missing. No, it's a kid's pet, Badger Mole. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Again. What? Okay, I guess I'll deal with the new deputy. Are they here yet? Yeah, they're just waiting in your office. He they, was here before I got here. He's just waiting outside. But you get here pretty damn early, Lindor. Yeah. Alright. Well... New deputy, all right. I guess I'll head to my office. Yep. Who does the sheriff see in his office? I assume the deputy. So, yep. Um, see, they're um, standing, not not sitting in any of the chairs because obviously he hasn't. You haven't told him to. Like, it'd be rude to sit in the chairs without asking for the host permission. <laughs> Is he standing but, at um, attention? <laughs> so he's standing at attention as you walk in. You see, a salute. There's a man in. He's like well over like six feet tall in full like black breastplate with a red cape flown, flown behind him stands out a human and look, looks at you <laughs> uh, fully clean shaven um like just buzz cut just ready to go uh a broken blade at his hip <laughs> and he he stands at like stands at attention with one gauntleted hand this like spikes and things like the most fucking just like dramatic man you ever see he goes Sheriff I'm your new deputy my name is Deputy Sebastian Splinted I was gonna look them up and down just like probably strange seeing a human around the air yeah just, the, the whole package is pretty pretty foreign to me uh, the first time someone's commented on my package sir Okay, at ease, I guess. Just have a seat. Relax, we're, we're in Brightborough. I don't know how you've done things before, but Brightborough is a pretty, pretty chill place. Not much goes around here. We don't have too many people going in, even less people going out, I'd say. I'm here to exterminate crime with the full extent of the law, sir. Ah. Sitting full straight, just, just relax. Look, we're we're gonna ease you in. Probably get to know the culture a bit. Um, but yeah, I had no idea you were coming here, so I'm a little bit unprepared today. Tell me a bit about yourself, I guess. Well, I'm just gonna be looking through the paperwork while I listen. <laughs> the paperwork's all sorted. Fear here, sir. Uh, I come from the capital, eh? I've been here to straighten- I'm here to straighten out any of the crime that's still in this city. 
All right. Well, I'm sure you'll be a great help. Um, of course, sir. Sure, you don't have to talk back to everything. In fact, I'd appreciate it if you talk back a little bit less. Okay, I will do. Shit. Alright. Have you met Linda? Linda? I met her. Kind of tardy. Showed up a full 15 minutes after I did. Uh, I would not call her that. She's probably more capable than me, I'd say. Um, she's very good at her work. But yeah, if you get along with Linda... Things should go quite smoothly. I'll introduce you guys now. I guess I'll I'll, I'll take him out. Yep. I'll stand up, salute. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. is this the deputy? <laughs> no, I'm, as I stand up, I'm saluting the sheriff oh. before he allows me to leave. <laughs> oh, just quit that, please. Just I cannot quit. Enough I just with the you don't you, you don't need to salute anymore, okay? Just 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 forget saluting's a thing. Right away, sir. <laughs> oh. Administrator Linda. <laughs> been... I'm Deputy Sebastian Splint. Yes, yes, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Administrator Linda. Just Linda's fine. And Administrator Just Linda, I understand. Yeah, he's... From the two minutes I've seen him, he's, he's quiet. He's always like this. I don't think he's going to uh, stop being like this. Good to know. Just another another character to add to Bright Um my, my superiors in Capital say it's one of my defining character traits, sirs. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they are very sad to have lost a great person like you. <laughs> they seem very eager to ship me off here. I guess it's because of my prowess. Um, yes. Alright, so... Uh, uh, chefs... The Fungamance is back in town, people are starting to get... It's like the third time this week, people are starting to get a bit worried. Mind can oh. I have you talk to him? You didn't yeah, have to deal sure. with the Fungamancer, Administrator Linda. Can you take him with you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank Deputy, you. come follow me, I'm gonna introduce you to the Fungamancer. Right away, sir! <laughs> I'm gonna try and, like, like, be, like, three, four steps ahead of this person. Like, I don't want to be <laughs> that close to them. Just hit kung 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 kung. <laughs> All right. So, what does the fungamenta look like, and well, what what are the like just townsfolk see investigating all the fungus around town? <laughs> so the fungamenta is like it's very tall, kind of humanoid mushroom. Uh, so maybe six six feet, maybe six four. Um, and the Fungomancer <laughs> it looks at the token just like some basic clothes holding like a sort of stick as they're walking around checking like the fungus yep um, no really discerning qualities so um, you investigating the fungus no, having a look, having a yeah, little yeah. inspection, crouch down, maybe, to get yeah. a closer look. A lot of nutrients are being sent north. It's something you notice. Interesting. So it's like, sort of, the area around here isn't getting the nutrients it's needed, it's all just being funneled north, it seems. Yeah. Um, probably that's around the time that the sheriff shows up. Do they notice me walk towards them? Um, fung yeah, you, like there's a bit of a crowd gathered around. And then right, as, you, as you arrive, it's like, uh, the Fungamancer's like, this is the third time they've been, they haven't been here this often before. I'll, I'll figure something out. It's fine. You guys, you guys can do your normal thing, okay? Uh, all right. Mm, Fungamancer. I stand and turn around. Hello again. Hello. What, what brings you to Bipara this time? I think, Sheriff, Lovely you'd day. notice at this point, completely different mushroom person. How <laughs> how often do I just see like a different mushroom person when they rock up? This is the first time. Ah. Oh. Have I got the wrong person? Are you Fungo Mansa? 
I am the Fungomancer. You look different. Yes, I am the new Fungomancer. Oh, okay. Did you look suspicious, happen? one of fungus? Are you causing trouble? Yeah, I can not causing trouble. Persecute you. Oh. Sorry, sir. Just let me do the talk. You Understood, sir. Today. What happened to the old Fungomancer? They have moved on. Moved on. Does that... Okay, so I assume... So I, I... Have they... I guess you just managed the mushrooms now? That is Great. correct. Alright, so I think the previous Fungomancers visit here a few times this week already. At least the last one didn't visit Barkbar too much, so what brings you in? Something is amiss with the fungus. I'm gonna need you to elaborate a bit more on that. There seems to be nutrients moving away from this area northwards. Is that like a... Uh, so that's not normal? So I'm not too certain about the mushrooms and how they work. You um, haven't read upon the fungus wrong logs? Me a, um, nature, I think, fungomancer? Me? Yeah. Nature or would it be it's sure. nature? As the regent of this area, you must be upon you must be up to date with all the fungal goings ons. Look, I Going haven't had any it. problems as of yet. The fungomancer here has done a pretty good job at that. Hmm. Nature, number 13, kind of, that's, you're going to go, if nutrients are being sent away, it means, like, there's nutrients probably missing, which could be caused by a lot of things. Out of character, what was the question again? I've forgotten to, I, I think it's just like, um, more about nutrients being moved north, moved away. Yeah, I was just like, oh, is that, like, not normal? It's not I'm thinking, typical. Could be like, okay, it's not yeah. typical. All right. Um, we can try investigate it. I might need your help to investigate it, but... Yeah, let's, let's have a look at what's happening up north. If you talk to the mushrooms, can you kind of find out where exactly north it is or how far it is? I can look into it. Is this something that needs to be done, like, right now? Do I need to do a check for that, or...? I mean, your job is to deal with the mushrooms, so it's like, doing it right now is like, oh, yeah, of course you do it now. Um, I will... Um... I'll be looking into it straight away. Okay, well... I can come with you. Just give me a few minutes to tell Linda and the rest what's happening. Certainly. Alright, I go back to the sheriff's office. Yep. Um I walk in, I hope that there are more of the more of the crew assembled. Yeah, there's I think most of them are there at the moment. Awesome. Good morning everyone. <laughs> Morning. Uh, Morning, sir. Might have seen the Fungomancer. Uh, this is our new deputy. Introduce yourself. I'm Deputy Sebastian Splinters. He's from... It's a pleasure to meet you all. The Capital, as he says. Um, yeah, I'm going to be bringing him around to town, going through everything. Um, Linda, I know you know what's going on. It sounds like it should be a job that you guys can handle. The Fungomancer came in this morning, and they say something's up with the mushrooms, it could be from up north, so I'm gonna go investigate that one. And yeah, I'll leave you guys to it, to take care of the town while I'm away. You got a boss. Alright, good luck Brooke. everybody. Thanks Brooke, you too. Alright, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna head out. Specifically Brooke though, no one else. <laughs> the rest can get fucked. 
Pretty much. Follow after him. Yep, definitely. Cool. And then I'll go back to the Fungomancer. Hello. All right. Again. Hello. Let's let's look into these mushrooms, shall we? All right. How far how far are we looking? It's not entirely clear. It's just north. But also, you probably want to replace the nutrients that are being sent away. Uh huh. Well. If the mushrooms are sending the, I'm sure they can send it back after we figure out what's going on. But let's figure out what's going on first. Yes. Unless there's some way to like replenish the nutrients right now. Might be someone who has a shop that has nutrients. Let's go to the shop. <laughs> All right, we head to. The very flat, uh, the very colorful crystal emporium. Hello, Alabaster! You're back. It is lovely to see you again. And you brought a new face. Yes, meet the new deputy. Ah, a deputy! Hello. Well, I shall give you the spiel. Pop rocks, crystal candies, edible salt lamps. Whether you're after something tasty or tasteful, there's something for everyone at Krios Crystal Emporium. Where do you come from, fine sir? I am Deputy Sebastian Splintered, and I am from El Capitale. Right, and are you a, a very... Are you a straight and narrow sort of... Uh, sorry, what sort of creature are you? I've never seen one of you before. You're I like am... a dwarf, but tall. To, conf to confirm your suspicions, I am heterosexual. <laughs> ah, well, you know, that's never bothered me before. Understood. I am a huge man. A huge man? Is Very interesting. Do you eat rocks? His Terran clearly isn't completely there. <laughs> I... Is... Is that some form of illicit substance, Rockman? <laughs> it's not some sort of illicit substance. It's I shan't, I shan't, I shan't abide uh, by illicit substances. We know, we know. Well, I mean, some of them taste very good. There's this, there's this one that comes from the elemental plane of water, which I've okay. only ever very rarely seen, but it's called salt. Ah, is now, now Sachin, salt, I'd be across this. <laughs> yeah, you've had salt before. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Your strange magic magics vex and confuse me, and yet I have partaken in this salt before. Thank you. you Sheriff, who's your friend? <laughs> You've tried salt. Where did you get it? Do you have a supplier? I would like some more. From from the table at the cafe. <laughs> I can show you around for some time if you need. The cafe? No, this town wouldn't have salt. It's like a massive crystal. Like the salt lamps. These no, things. Very small crystal. Have I shrunk? <laughs> Krios, like, mage hand. This absolutely massive Himalayan salt lamp looking thing from the back <laughs> of the store. Like, it's probably almost a meter tall. And he drags it to the front. He's like, this is very tasty. It took me a whole week to eat the last one. Does it smell like any form of class A through class C illicit substance? <laughs> Romeo, hey, how you find perception. Ah, yeah, how, oh. how exactly? So you're smelling it? Oh, and yeah, perception. <laughs> no, it just fucking smells like. It doesn't smell, salt doesn't even smell like anything. <laughs> yeah, so if it doesn't smell like anything, he has to go one step further. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> salty, dude. It's quite salty. Thank you. <laughs> I'll put it back. You're a bit of a strange one. <laughs> Any anyway, um, what are you here for today? What can I help you? Oh, wait. Is that the fungomancer outside? Yeah, so there seems to be some issue with the fungus around here. <laughs> uh, something, something. Nutrients are getting sent north. And we're thinking that the mushroom around here are going to start losing the nutrients. Do you have anything that could replenish some nutrients in the area 
what I do. Now, so around volcanic activity areas, they pick up these wonderful little yellow crystals, right? They're incredibly toxic to humans, but they taste lovely to Ganassi. Um, and they go really well with the fungus. I've found that it really makes them thrive. So, um, I, th th over here I've got a bag. Uh, Mr. Mr. Human. And, uh, yes, yes. Mr. Human. Be very careful with these. That's don't sniff them. <laughs> don't smell them. Right? It Just, uh, don't eat them either. I, I don't know how your physiology time. works, but I can handle them just fine. And Krios is going to, like, sort of drift along the floor to the corner and grab a bag of sulfur uh, crystals and come back around and be like, Now, where are we going with these? Sure. Maybe, maybe the Fungomancer will know a bit better than I will. You wanna, you wanna come tag along for a little bit? Oh, absolutely. I'll close up. He just sort of like, <laughs> he, he uh, ushers you out the front door of the shop, and then just waves a hand, and the the sort of crystal forms back over, and covers up into a solid um, entranceway instead of being a proper door. Oh, there's four walls now. Okay. Mm. Fungomancer, have you have you guys ever met Converse before? Oh, oh. I don't believe so. Yes, new Fungomancer. Not yes. the same as the old one, but I'm sure just as competent. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Hello. Hello! Um, now, uh, your predecessor quite liked these. Uh, Chris is gonna pull out one of the crystals. Uh, do you think this will be useful? Yes. Quite the conversationalist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we seem to be <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Um. Well, take me where they need to go, and I'll handle all the dangerous crystal things and the crushing, and the consumption of excess, and we can go and um, and and see what these mushrooms need. I greatly appreciate your help. Excellent. Well, like six words, <laughs> more than your predecessor by far. Especially because they're dead. Appreciate that's four syllables. I don't even know if the old fungomancer knew four syllable words. I don't think the fung old fungomancer could speak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, old fungomancer is, was just a mushroom. This makes it much easier. <laughs> well, there's anything go. wrong with not speaking. Yeah, but let's go. Let's let's feed some mushrooms. Yep. Uh, roll me a nature, or I think it's nature. That's what it be. Who's rolling? The fungomancer, and with advantage because being helped. Helped by fungus. Sixteen. Yep, you can just go around town, kind of go put it here, put here, put here, and it sort of re reinvigorates the fungus. Um. Enough so it's not gonna, you know, wilt or anything. But it's still, you know, nutrients are being sent away. I and mean, it looks like it'll be good for now, but until we go Guessing. north, I guess we, yeah, we gotta stop the the issue where it started. Oh, north? Yes. Are we going north? Well, yes. I just sold my last. Uh, red crystal, my my little heat emitting crystal. Can I come along? I'm sure there might be more. I've been meaning to do a run, but nobody's been going up north recently. You're very welcome to come along. I'm sorry you had to close your shop for a little bit, so I just can make <laughs> up. Right, Borrow. Anybody who needs me knows me. If you know True what enough. I mean, Alabaster. True enough. All right, with our little gang, let's head north. I guess Fungomancer, you're going to lead the way, because I only know it's roughly north. Yep. So after a bit of travel, mm -hmm. you head into some of the northern caverns, and exiting the main sort of Brightborough cavern itself. Um, and you notice something strange is how it sort of gets colder, which is unusual, especially for this time of the year. Thankfully, we'll be able to longer. find your heat crystals around here. Otherwise, we'd be in a real spot of bother, right? Now, now um, I'm um, sorry, sorry, Mister Mister Human. 
How are you at uh, seeing in the dark? I have perfect vision in the night due to my pact with the undead. You wait, 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 what type of pact are you? <laughs> I don't know. I was talking shit. <laughs> I have perfect vision in the dark due to my devil's sight, if that helps. Devil's sight? Oh! It's a feature I I'm holding standard no on I have no idea what that is. Maybe one day I ate something funny. I'm not sure. I can just see in the dark. Is what the boys at the station called it. <gasps> Oh, yes. The first time that I ate glow crystals, I could see everywhere. That could week. be it. That could be it. Yeah. And then they banned them. Such a sad day when they banned glow crystals. They were so okay, much fun. Okay, might not be that. Might, might not be that. <laughs> that was probably the old... I would have never done that. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yes, your predecessor was, was quite s stuck quite the in the mud, if you will. <laughs> Little bit, little bit. He sounds like a great person. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say your last name was, uh, deputy? Um, Splinced. Yeah, no, not related. No, the other one was um, a Ganassi. Oh, that should have probably been the fucking giveaway. <laughs> I mean, one of, one of rock. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know how your genealogy works. So... Not you know, a genius you might just human. Be a freak. <laughs> I'm a regular <laughs> human. Move, <laughs> Jenna. Like just like, like the fucking Michelangelo statue come to life. <laughs> <laughs> like Al Alabaster is already very pale and in, in his form, you know, and uh, you're just a different sort of pale and a bit fleshier. That is correct. <laughs> So, I mean, maybe, maybe you're just some weird type of rock that I'm not quite used to. You're a very observant one of rock. Maybe we are brothers in rock. I'll have to think about this. Anyway, Fungomancer, mm -hmm. do you know why it's cold? <laughs> it is cold. Yes, that's what I said. Do you know a why? wise observation, one of fungus. <laughs> I do not know. Ah, well that's a shame. It may be linked to the nutrients being sucked northwards. Do the nutrients seem better heal? Worse heal? More? Less? I'm gonna inspect the ground. Um... I guess you... there's fungus here too, right? Yeah, you can find a fungus and interface with yep. the mycelium. Yep. Roll me a nature. So many nature checks. That's your class. Yeah, it's druids. Wow. Fifteen. Um, yep, yeah, you kind of. It's still being sent a bit more north, but you're getting like closer. Because it seems to be like the cold isn't. These mushrooms don't like this cold. It needs to be warmer. Alright. Okay. Uh, um, al al alabaster, I just, do just an aside, Alabaster. Do you think this could be related to me taking the crystal, the warmth one? Yeah, that might have caused the problem. Lost the I'm, just, I'm a little worried. Maybe? Do you still have it? Oh, fuck no, I gave it to Caleb. The man's oh. bed hasn't been warmed since the Incubus left town. You didn't tell that to him, did you? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not an idiot. Okay. You know how he is. Oh, we, I we know some how he it. is. I'm really like worried that. the Felsbards are going to tell the kid about it and he's just going to drop it on Caleb and we're going to be in <laughs> for a, a week of pain. Oh, to be a stalagmite in that room. <laughs> I don't know I don't know the infrastructure of your internal buildings, but that, that is not up to go where I come from. We're going to have to launch a full audit. <laughs> we are not doing that. I'll um, take it upon myself if we're out of resources. <laughs> you will not take it upon yourself. Speaking of the failed spars, is that you go past them? Oh, they're, that's they're true. fun. Yeah. See all the um, Rothe, I think it was. Rogaine, excellent. That, how you pronounce it? I think so. Um, just munching on some mushrooms. Morning. I think it's morning. Yes, kind of, uh, mid-morning, early mid-morning. Well, am I speaking to, like, one of the parents or anything? <laughs> uh, if you wish. Sure. Just gonna ask if, like... Just gonna ask a few questions. Morning, Sheriff. 
Morning. How you doing? Doing all right. Well, not not. That's you know how it is as kids. Yeah. Badge yeah. Went missing. Don't worry. We're we're getting someone on it. Um, it's probably going to be Brooke, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, I figured. Yeah. That'll be just run off. Yeah. Look, it shouldn't be too bad. You know, it happens. Yeah. They'll come back. They'll come back. Don't worry about it. I'm just you got to get through this patch and. You know, we'll do it again in a week, you know. Ugh, yeah, what nice. else? So, apparently something's been happening with the mushrooms. Sort of near here, but a bit more north. Have you noticed anything weird? It's been cold recently, which is strange, but... Cold recently? I'm just going to side up. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Anything else up? Um, let's... Oh no, he definitely didn't. That's a that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's just the fucking badge mod went missing, so it's, it's just trying to deal with that. I, I didn't even really need one to come in and put in a report, but it was sort of, I wasn't going to hear the end of it if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We got you. Anyway, so the mushrooms, nothing really, it's just cold. It yeah, is a little bit chilly up here, I've noticed. While we're here, we might look into it. Maybe it's related. We'll we'll see though. Yeah. All right, but yeah, someone will come to help you look for the badger, uh, the badger mole. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a look at that. Thanks for telling me all this. No worries, I'm anytime. All right, catch you around. See ya. All right, we're gonna Great. keep heading north. Krios will hold back just long enough for the others to get out of earshot and go. So how's your lovely partner? You both doing well? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, if you do need any more, just come and let me know. And then Kratos is just gonna roll off after the after the sheriff. <laughs> so, one of fungus. Do you feel pain when they eat your kin? Why would I feel pain? I am not the one being eaten. Ah, true heartless warrior at heart. <laughs> Our force will make good use of you. <laughs> Sheriff, the way forward seems to be to follow the Fungomancer. It most certainly is. Understood. <laughs> I'm happy to be of service. I'm gonna go on weird a limit. Was... Yeah, the weird question. Hmm? Weird question, Mr. Human. What's a heart? <laughs> a heart? I, I mean, like, we ha we have our, our central, like, you know, body. But is a, is a heart like a, a human thing? Well, you, for you to describe it as similar to a central body, it seems to be that you have a vague understanding of how it works. Oh, yes, because, uh, the, 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 what's his name? Um, Grangus. Grangus always talks about, you know, forging from the heart and this, that, uh, and the other thing. And I really that... don't quite understand what he means, other than that he says it comes from deep within him. And, you know, deep I've within got... me is just more crystal. Right. <laughs> you, you, you do also have blood. I understand. So, how it works yeah. is, imagine you've got a bunch of small crystals floating around inside your body and they're like inside little tunnels made out of crystals and those go through one central big crystal which has four independent compartments and that fluctuates in such a way that encourages the crystals to move around your body right What's so that? like a multi-chiodal feldspar structure that's exactly correct beautiful okay that makes a lot of sense excellent you are wise beyond your years one of rock I am of many years. <laughs> and you are wise beyond all of them. Well, you're the first to say that to me. I'm very grateful. <laughs> a lot of years. A lot of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know? Yeah. I, I'm just looking at Kriyos like, yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to get used to this one. But... Deputy seems like a you seem like a nice guy. You if, if you just ease up a little bit, I'm sure you'll fit right into Brightboro. Anyways, riding more north, have we have we seen anything? Have we felt anything? 
How cold is it? It's like kind of getting to the point where it's sort of probably around maybe like I don't know, 15 degrees or something. Which oh, is a lot okay. of change for like inside a cave, which doesn't fluctuate a whole lot. I was gonna say, I didn't imagine like the caves would be subject to the seasons too much. No. I haven't felt this cold in a, in a long time. Roll me some either survival, perception, investigation type skills, everyone. Everyone. I mean, you're all looking, right? Survival, yeah. investigation, perception. Perception works. Ooh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So, Alabaster and... Not present yeah, Alabaster and, um, the Fungomancer. Um, let's see. Fungomancer. You notice some mushrooms have been sort of, like, bite marks taken out of them. Ooh. And the bite marks probably have a bit of, kind of, ice around them. Um, Alabaster, you'd probably notice... Would you know? Probably, you can notice some like ice shards around the place. Ice shards. Yeah. What was the last time I saw ice shards? Uh, a while ago. Okay, so they're definitely out of place. Yes. Especially considering this this sort of areas where you find heating rocks. That is weird. That is very weird. I'm just gonna go through what I think could have caused ice shards. And I got nothing. Alright, anyone else? Something we anyway been eating the mushrooms. Oh. Are we uh, anywhere near Caleb's home? Um fairly close, it's in yeah. Um also finding that something you'd notice these are big bite marks. Sort of like, kind of chomp. Oh. I recognize like, you know how like, bite, there's like certain shapes, for certain beasts, yep. animals have certain Yeah, is it, is it like pointy? Is it like, Brown, is it like, square. yeah. Roll me, uh, nature or, would animal handling all this? Would this be animal handling? Up to you chief, you're in charge. Yeah. You know, why not? Nature or animal handling? Who's rolling? Same for me. Oh no. Um, Sheriff, you can also roll. I'll give it a shot. Sheriff, I will assist you in recalling this knowledge. Do you have any knowledge on animals? Yeah. <laughs> From Hades? <laughs> I'm going to say the help doesn't quite work because the animals that Sebastian knows are not the animals that are in Hades. I know birds and shit. You got birds here, sir? You know what the fuck a bird is. <laughs> it's like a snail, but like, with wings. A snail with wings. 23, that is very good. Wow, okay. <laughs> no, it's a 25, right? The help action. Oh, it's with that. Oh, wait, no. That's not how that works. 23. Um, see, to find what out what kind of bite this is. This... isn't like a creature that is natural this is just this isn't this is something that's sort of not this isn't like a normal creature from these parts or anything something is up here it's something that seems to be bigger than it's meant to be bigger than it's meant to be maybe the nutrients are going into this thing <laughs> are there any footprints or Sort of any other leading marks or any particular smell around the area that could point us um, in the direction? I think you can probably find some sort of tracks. Just like, probably like kind of claw marks that have kind of been frosted a little bit in the in the rock. Alright, we got some tracks. This thing doesn't look like it's from here. And based on the bite mark, it looks like it could be kind of hostile. 
everyone okay with that to keep going? I'll go wherever I need you to practice the full extent of the law, sir. Might have to practice the full extent of the blade today. We'll see. I, I'll, I'll pull out my um my uh, broken sword that I've got at my hip. Yep. While it's not one. fully extended, I'll be happy to practice it, sir. <laughs> you got it. Alright. But yeah. Are you guys okay to keep going? It might... It looks like it could get a little bit dicey. Oh, quite fun! Let's go! I will perform right. my duty. Alright. Excellent. Well, I like the cut of your jib, one of the fungus. That, that remind me, Alabaster. Have we... Have you ever seen us actually, uh... Have you ever seen me fight? I'm not sure if we've ever had to. <laughs> I think... What was the last time you fought? Uh... Somewhere between when the town was founded and when the fungus arrived. <laughs> Way before me. I've never seen you fight then. Oh, Maybe we won't have to. Maybe we won't have to. Yeah, Hopefully. well, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm sure it will be. Regardless, just you know, be ready for anything, guys. Oh, I was I was quite the brawler in my uh, my younger days. Trust me. <laughs> Suplex of the fucking mushroom. Okay, old man. And then there's the tracks. Let's follow them calmly. Uh, okay. Let's not rush. So you follow these tracks. They go a bit more north, and they start to like, you know, where the caves start to split off and stuff. And you can, um, kind of takes it a bit where you haven't been for quite a while. Because there's no one really out here. It's sort of a cave that doesn't have a lot in it. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, and you see in the distance some small kind of, they seem sort of bronzy snake-like things that look like. You're not sure really what they are. Ooh. It's a pretty cave looking cave. Cavey cave. You guys would be down here. Mm hmm. And let's. We're all for initiative. Uh oh. Oh boy. But we're all friends here. Uh, can you get the initiative tracker up so that oh, we can yep. roll? Yep, yep. Sorry about that. On the tracker. Let's. All right. Let's change go. my OBS as well. Let's hey, that's not bad. Battle one. Oh, I may have dropped down Sebi. All right, we rolled good on my last two rolls. This combat's about to go one of two ways. Got your back, sir. Oh, right. I can drag myself on, can't I? Yes. Hmm. I totally forgot that I could do that, so I was waiting for it to happen. <laughs> hey. And everyone, one, two, uh, three, four. Yes. Cool. Um, hey, Satch. Yep. To, to, to get my sword, it requires an action. Um... I would not normally if I were like wanted to do it properly I'd have just been walking around it because we knew danger was coming. But can I just still do it anyway without wasting my action? Yeah, since you saw him and then Cheers, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Alabaster. It looks cool to dominate, but like Alright. Let's do some measuring. Okay, I'm gonna have to be up a little bit more. Yeah. To aim it to get it. 30 feet? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. 25 feet. And we're just gonna test them out, so we're gonna hit him with a... Hey Alexa, play Slug Terror theme. A Brunt Blast. Getting, getting the Slug Terror up. Uh-huh. And... Oof. Wow, that's not very good. It eh? manages to just like kind of writhe around as you... Um, Brunt just pings off the floor and... Skids away. Ah, yeah. uh, excellent, excellent, Sheriff. The warning shot, following directives. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just, just get in there and get him. <laughs> Anything else to wish you on your turn? Do I even have any bonus action? 
Might not. I don't know. Probably not. I don't think I do. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. What is Merge with Stone? I don't remember this. Okay, keep going. Creost. Okay. So Creost uh, sort of steps up and he goes, Oh, yes! And runs forward. And as he does, well, sorry, runs in objective sense. You know, he rumbles forward along the ground. Um, how far away am I? Oh, 30 feet. Wonderful. So Creost will make the full 30 feet of movement. And on the way, his form begins to shift. And he sort of picks up more and more of the floor as he's going. And bulks up until most of his uh, sort of crystalline mass is now just, like, poking out between bits of stone. Yep. Oh, very cool. Um, and as he arrives, uh, he's going to clap his hands together, and the entire floor in a 40-foot diameter, so 20-foot radius, uh, so I will draw the... the... That will get alabaster. Do we use a square or a circle for this? Square. Okay. Uh, so that'll opinion. get. Uh, not from me, from it. Oh, from it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yep. So, so that's hang on, twenty feet. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So he. Oh, hang on, my mouse messed up. I can't undo. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Uh, that yeah. becomes a uh, spike growth. Wanna be oh, wait twenty feet from it, right? Yeah. Oh, you're, uh, from it. Yeah, absolutely. They'll get that second one. Yeah. Um. There we go. Cool. There we go. Cool. Uh, right, and Chris. we'll just pop that there, just in case it, it helps. And um, Kriost will use a meta magic to shield himself from the effects of the spell. Nice. Cool. Um, I think you can, I, your, should have the purple bar, should be, um, spell points. Yep. Sick. And that is done. Okay. Um, and that will be my turn. Shit, you used half your magicka. The Bastion splintered. Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll walk up, see the, see the one at the back. Is good, good fighting, rock man. <laughs> and I'm going to point at this one at the back. And, uh, they are... Approximately exactly in range of getting their ass beat. I'm gonna hold out my my left hand, and all the shadows of the dark around them start to clutch around them as I cast hex, giving them disadvantage on all strength based checks. And then I'll hold out. Well, that's still held in one hand. My other hand will come up, and this like dark black magic swirls around it. And I'm gonna throw it out and cast eldritch blast on this motherfucker. Um, and that is. Uh, I have it all set up. I can use it. I can just roll this. Uh, Eldritch Blast is... Whew. <laughs> Unfortunate. Excellent. Um, as protocol, I'm following the warning shot. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> okay. Fungamancer. That's you, Isabel. I know it's me. I've made the I... bold assumption that mm -hmm. you guys can all fight at range. I don't actually know that you can. <laughs> Listen, that was true when he was a Celestial Warlock. <laughs> ah, know, Warlocks have Eldritch Blast, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Warlocks automatically fight at range. Unless you don't play Eldritch Blast, at which point. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, at which point you don't have the... Can't do it. It's okay, though, because I also... Just long legs. I can probably make it there in two or three turns. Um, I'm going to cast... Wait, how far away is this? Probably in range. Right. Five foot radius is just that one square, right? Five foot radius, yeah, it's just... But you can plonk around it you. at the epicenter, so five foot radius would be like... There. Oh, okay. That'd be a three by three. My... Like, my brain um, five I'm foot radius. Moonbeam. Uh, I think. Moonbeam. Uh, yeah, would well, you're absolutely right, Satch. Yes. Moonbeam. Do, 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 do. Forty five foot radius. This one. 
<laughs> Moonbeam, okay. Um, I don't know how Moonbeam works in Hades, but it does, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, this reminds me of the surface world. The moon is just like a huge mushroom. <laughs> That's Amore. Uh, da -da -da -da. Moon beam. Sorry, that is a... Wait, like that? Or... It's like this horrifying, like... Where's the moon beam gonna be? How do I do it? Like... Horrifying, disgusting, alien-looking, like... Mycelial like eye yeah. in the roof, looking down at oh, you, <laughs> casting right. Moonbeam. Uh, I am curious yeah. how. Is it like a spotlight from a mushroom in the ceiling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're under um, arrest. Do, 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 um, that's when it starts to turn, I believe. Mm -hmm. Was it enters a spell's area for the first time? So what do it happen now? Or starts its turn there, I guess. Is it starting its turn? Is it, it's the next... Oh, no. Creature enters the spell's area for the first time. On a turn. Um, so... Or it starts its turn there. Oh, on it's a turn. Through. Okay, yeah, also, yeah, no, so on the start of its it turn. It is yeah. technically a turn now, but it could also mean, like, on its turn. Yeah, I think it on its turn. I think it means its turn. Cool. So when, at the, when the round starts, it's gonna get affected by uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool. So we can't get out of this. Anything it else be... yeah. you wish to do, Fungamancer? Uh, that was an action, I believe. So, I don't... No, no. That was an action, yep. Okay. This is... up oh, the other one. What can it do? It can make a saving throw or whatever. Uh, it's not the one in the moon... Oh, it's the one in Spike Growth, isn't it? Yeah. Moves into the... Uh, or with, all within the area. Yep. Whenever it moves within the area, it takes 2d4 for every 5 feet. Okay, so in that case, it's and going... it's difficult terrain. Mm. It's going to half... realize this and just burrow down into the ground. Excellent, that's a strong move. And burrow up right next to you, Kriost. Ah, it can burrow. That's great. right. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Wait, was that level two? <laughs> yep. Um... <laughs> unfortunate. Like the hutzpah, like the moxie. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. Actually, it can burrow one more, I think. I'm gonna burrow there. Cool. Um, Probably, uh, not really worth keeping up the spell anymore now that you think about it. No. Oh, it will be. Oh. Going to just kind of erupt into lightning. Oh my okay. god. Huh? I, I rolled very well. So, Priost, Sebastian, Alabaster. Sebastian. I need a dexterity saving throw, DC 13. We better save shit. this. Because the other one definitely did. Am I? Oh, I am within 15. Oh no. Oh god. What was it? Fuck. That's on average I failed that roll. Dex saving? Oh no, I just bought Dex save. Anyway, I failed. Oh, oh please. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How much damage is that? 20, 22? 23? 22. 22 damage. Oh, I'm good. on 2 HP. Yeah. I had 3 temp hit points, so I'm on 6. It's the other one's turn. Oh wait, the other oh. one succeeded to say so it takes half damage, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good to know, good to know. Takes 11. Right, yes. Takes 11. And the other one starts to turn in Moonbeam, what does that mean? Uh, can save more? You can. Oh, not this save, sorry. DC. Okay, so it fails at save. 210 radiant damage. Do I have to roll that or no? Yes. Yep. So I just roll 2d10. Two two mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wait, how do I roll again? Like Sasha, 2d10. 22. I didn't roll a 1. <laughs> Takes 7 damage. Better than nothing. Hex is gone, by the way, Satch. Oh, cool. Absolutely rovable. Alasta. Well, that hurt. Um, let's grab the ruler. What are you doing with that uh, ruler, Sheriff? <laughs> We're fighting. Bruh. 
Still spell lands. focus. No, that should be safe enough if I just move to the second last row. Alright, we're gonna try that one more time. Okay, we're gonna shoot the one closest to me. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Oh, Alright, you need to make a... Make uh, a strength save. Strength save. 15. Uh, it has disadvantage on those because of Hex. No, uh, Hex, hex ended. Oh, it ended, okay. And, My bad. Uh, that's not saving throws, I think it's exclusively ability checks. Oh! Uh, let me check that though. Um, okay, I misunderstood Hex. Okay, but it still takes 4 bludgeoning damage. Yeah. That is in fact 4 bludgeoning damage. Hey, um... Priost. Okay. Um. Oh, Krios, sorry. Do you have to make a con save to keep your spell up? I do. I do need to make ah. a con save. Uh, it's DC 11. Yep. And it's an 18, so we're fine. Ooh, very good, very good. Um, cool. Krios is going to attempt to grapple uh this one here yep the lower damaged one so that's that's what that's contested athletics yep yep they make it oh, they can do acrobatics as well yeah yeah oh it's definitely gonna try acrobatics oh no okay we'll just roll high and you go ah well the wrigley yeah that ain't gonna work. now if it's still at hex then it would be a disadvantage yeah but uh, I don't know hex because my ah uh, so uh, the the plan didn't work, team. Uh, right. The plan well... was to to grab this thing and drag it backwards while the spike field doesn't affect me, but it does affect them. Ah, that would have been good. Uh, which would allow me to deal a glorious twelve d four. That's why the front blast would have also been good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that didn't work. So now. <laughs> Uh, let me just consider what I can do. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a deck save. That ain't happening. Uh, Any blade waters? I do have blade ward. As oh, yeah, option. Aaron, I think you did. Do well, put in your, um, on my racial trait. Hmm? Your Earth Genasi stuff I think you were missing on your character sheet. Yep, I thought you put it in. Yeah, mm. I, it's not fully set up, just... Oh. Yep, no worries. Okay, uh... I will just uh, use my racial trait to Blade Ward myself. Cool. Uh, it's a bonus action to do so. So, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to try and move away. I'm just going to stand there. Excellent. Uh, grapple wildly and then at the turn. Cool. Sebastian Splint. Okay, so first step, uh, I'm going to uh, Hexblade's Curse, this one here. Um, so he gets cursed for a minute. Um, nothing happens to it, but I get like bonuses to damage rolls and I crit on a 19 or 20. Um, cool. And then as my action... I'm going to put my hand on my chest and from my hand, frost radiates out and like puts up like shield, like spikes on my shoulders and like around the chest and I cast Armor of Agathus. And nice. that adds, uh, that gives me 10 temporary hit points. Love and to see it. Yeah. So it's absolutely pog. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to um, step back into the firing line alongside the sheriff and give him a nod. A good chef. <laughs> it's just all part of the plan. Yep. Yep. Oh. Fungamancer. Um. Firstly, I'm going to turn in the turn to the sheriff and say, "Uh, oh, uh, I actually how uh far? -huh, Thirty feet." I don't know how useful this will be. Okay. Um Rio still be fine. They yeah. won't hit him. He can't die. <laughs> He's a rock. 
Who, who, who wants this more? I, th I think the person in, in the middle of this. Or... Maybe. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. The Krios, you look her and cast Healing Word. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> Spell save DC 14! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really... bad! Save no, no, it's not hard work. work. It's fine. Roll the, roll the D4. D4 plus Wiz. Oh, I got it, man. Not gonna heal me today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to do when I'm saying this up. Uh, roll what, what more? D4. Yeah, plus D4 wiz. plus your wisdom. Uh, how do I plus that? Can I roll it? Um, uh, plus your wisdom modifier, plus four. Slash up, oh, one D4. Plus. There's a way to get healing word to actually work, but it's. Today, you just so. turn it into an attack and yeah. then give it like give it like guaranteed hit or something and then... yeah, you can make it so it doesn't show the attack part of it and yeah mm -hmm. six hit points six hit points nice doubling my current health yeah and you have resistance to normal hits maybe not yeah. if it does the electric boogaloo again but yep yeah well um anything on your action Bungamancer? can you use an Action cantrip. I'm just looking at like cantrip. Look. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to cast produce flame. Oh, and I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. Uh, I can claim a piece of hair. And throw it at this dude. When you cast a spell as an action on a, on a later turn. Oh, it's a, it's a soul. And it beat. says when you cast a spell or as an action on ah, a later turn, you can it's not a soul. Oh, or. Okay, yep, yep. yep. Reading I, I, I read oh. that five times. <laughs> No I okay. didn't pick it up either. Make a, make a ranged spell attack then. It'll just be your okay. spell attack bonus to hit. Um, oh, produce flame. Oh, oh no, it's not. Uh, it'll just be a plus six to hit, I believe. What do I actually have to roll? Is it just a d20? Yeah, d20 plus no. six. Okay. And then a d8 if it hits. Wait, I rolled a d10. Rolled a d10. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but there's no way you roll another one. Okay, it does. 13, do. that hits. Roll me. Woo! Great. Was it on the closest one, was it? Yep. Yep. Cool. Uh, d8. D8, fire damage. Yeah. This music goes fucking hard. Yeah. Five fire damage on this dude. Let's go. Um, then it is nine damage. Okay. its turn. Uh huh. It's going to see the fire and go towards. Uh, it's going to burrow underneath towards the fungamancer. Do I get an opportunity? You sure do. Hell yeah, kill it. Alright, uh, both hands are free, so Kriost is just gonna turn around. Uh, no, you need a feat to grapple on a bonus attack. Yeah, I think you do. Or on a, um, opportunity Wait. attack. Shame. Can't you just replace any attack with a grapple? Yeah, but an opportunity attack's not the attack action. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You get one attack. Yeah. I think the wording for grapple is like when you use the attack action, blah blah blah. Uh, blah. If your attack fair. action, can t uh, if you have a, a feature that make allows you to make multiple attacks when you use the attack action, then you replace one. I see. Yeah. Anyway, uh, big unarmed strike. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit for eight bludgeoning damage. Sure does. So Krios just like slams down on the tail of this thing as it goes underground, but he deeper in. Yep. Hell yeah. And sort of, it's sort of the way it burrows, it kind of just spins around in the ground and then comes up in front of the Fungamancer. And... Is it bloodied, question mark? Uh, it's probably nothing in IV. It's not. It, it's yeah. not bloodied, it's also nothing. And it's going to try and bite the Fungamancer. 
Oh shit. Damn. Why are these dudes just what? This... metal as shit? Well, they are literally metal. <laughs> lightning. That's what I was asking. That is four uh... piercing and six lightning damage, so ten damage total, unless you got any resistances. <laughs> resistances? Um... Unless a 24 misses, which I doubt. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. I don't think I have. Sorry, thanks for asking. Any resistance. So that's 10? Yeah. 10 damage. Um, I believe you. Do you need to do a concentration for the moon beam? Moon is just for the duration, I think. I don't think it's a concentration. Is it? Um, Let me read it again. I'm pretty sure not moon is concentration. concentration. No, it's not. not? I'm reading it. it. Doesn't look like it. Moonbeam concentration up oh, to yeah, one. Oh yeah, you do. Wait. Yeah. Ah, the oh, spell maybe I just in the. It in. the yeah. yeah, the the spell in roll yeah. twenty is not conk. Yeah, no, moonbeam's a oh, concentration. I forgot to tick it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a constitution saving throw. Conk. Constitution saving throw. Yep. We believe. Just... Yeah, just roll really high and you'll be fine. Is that? That is yeah, a pass. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Save. Oh, that pass. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I just assume anything below like seventeen. Moonbeam's no, concentration, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. A constitution. Yeah. It oh, fails. Yeah. Hell yeah! Ooh, Take a shitload of damage. D10, Die mad. Two D ten. Two D ten radiant. Roll it. Go, fungal mancer, go. As well. What? Oh, I need to get damage. 2d10. 2d10? 2d10. 2d10. Hey! Hey! That's a big Hell yeah. Fuck. Got it. Oh, wait, no, it it gets to do have its turn, doesn't it? Nah. 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 It doesn't. It's gonna gonna try and bite Krios. I believe that's a miss. Yeah, I guess 17 AC. Alabaster. Alrighty. I don't like how close this one is to me. So Get behind I'm me, Sheriff. To... Yep. <laughs> disengage, is that a thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action disengage. to disengage, action. yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's my move, right? Or is that an action? That's an action to disengage. You still have your full uh... movement to get the fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't want to die, but I also want to play the game. Yeah, I want to play the game. What if I just push it away? What does this one do again? That doesn't push it away. I have a feeling Dex is going to be really high. Yeah, we've 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 seen that it prefers Dex over it prefers we it preferred to weasel its way out of um Christ's, uh grasp than to brute force the strength. Yeah, if you force uh -huh. do force movement on it, then it um. It doesn't get an opportunity attack. That's what I'm thinking as well. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Yes. Oh, melee brunt blast, please. Oh shit, that's a disadvantage because of melee, isn't it? Yes. All right. No, fuck it. Here we go. Actually, maybe I'll just take the damage. As in, like, I'll damage no. it. You'll, you'll take the, the attack of opportunity. No, as in, I'll just try and deal some deeps. Oh, okay, I thought you meant for a second there, I was... Alright, we're gonna try this one, maybe. 6.30. Alright, do a deck save. Uh, object, oh, I'm missing just like a rock. Yep. That's like, that it's burrowed out, it's made of rock that you just... Shoot, and then it's gonna make a dex saving throw. Oh! Excellent, that's the tastiest dex saving right, throw. Alright, 14 damage. 14 damage. Uh, do, do, do. Um. Okay. okay. With four turns. Okay. I still can't move out of the way. <laughs> so, what you've done, you've just kind of put, loaded your brunt, so like just shot down. And it spun, bounced down, punched a rock, that just kind of smashed this thing and just the side and just like turned into powder the rock has. And then your brunt's just 
bouncing all over, around all over the cavern. Ping it. Well, I don't really want to take the opportunity attack. I, I have faith in the three people in front of me, so I'm just going to chill here. Cool. Kriost. Okay. Kriost is going to just walk in this direction and take an opportunity attack. Ooh. Right. Uh, Kriost will use the shield spell. Excellent. Good as a reaction. Chris. Cool. Uh, so my AC until the end of my next turn is 22. Nice. Good, good. Sorry, until Excellent. the start of my next turn is 22. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, there's a main action. I will cast the Shatter Spell centered somewhere around here that gets 20 feet to each of them. Excellent. 20... Uh, uh one bus. Yeah, Perfect. there and there. Somewhere yeah. where it doesn't hit the team. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Um... The shadow spell does uh, this. Oh yeah, they're, they're fucked as fuck. Uh, no, it, it, oh yes, it, cast it. at level two. There we go. Okay. See spell description. Oh, excellent. Oh, uh, here we go. Um, they're made out of metal, aren't they? They're made yep. out of metal. Yep. So they roll a disadvantage, and I rolled two ones on my three d eight, which is a great start for the damage That's roll. Very strong. Constitution saving throw. Damage. Surely this cat. They Surely both fail. Nice. So they both take eight damage. Ooh, is it? Does it? Big, big, big. Eight damage for both of them? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they both get shattered. Hell yeah. Oh, thank God. As you just. <laughs> yeah, the, the shatter spell is just like uh, this crystalline growth of rock comes up from the ground and then just explodes as shards that, like, reverberate this sound. And the shards just fall right in front of us, but doesn't touch us. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna Great. look at Sebastian like, not even close. Great, great job, Rockmaster. Next time we should all be wearing safety glasses as a precaution, but other than that, phenomenal work. <laughs> Drop concentration on the spiky grounds. <laughs> mm, oh, this oh, moonlight looks very nice. Concentration. On the moonbeam. <laughs> All right, I am quite battered up, mm -hmm. but I'm, like... I'm gonna look at the jaw of this thing and see if it matches up with the bite marks on the mushroom. From what I can remember, not even close. Not even close. Not big enough. Is uh, it? Roll me an Arcana investigation, either oh. or. I'm. I'm gonna also uh, walk over to this little one here and put my hand on it, and some of the shadows from the hex seep out of it and into my arm and heal me seven hit points because of my hex blades curse. <laughs> yep. Yo. Ooh. Um, I consume the souls of machine and man. Ungermancer. You would notice that not only did this is this a thing that didn't bite the mushroom earlier, it's also kind of not even going to bite eat mushroom it's not like an animal doesn't eat it doesn't it's not even organic you just see sort of runes scribbled along it do i can i read, try to read the runes do they say anything Romy and arcana it's written in chinese 15 the characters know chinese <laughs> it's it. sort of but runes why i think elvish these like kind of these you can tell these are constructs, so some may just, just kind of made them to I don't know, search the area sort of thing. Probably. Fair enough. Do you ever like like out of character? Out of this campaign, but do, would you ever be like, oh, it's got runes on it, roll an arcana? I was like, yep, okay, it's in common. <laughs> like <laughs> can, can you just write words on something and it does it? Uh, yeah, it's just tradition. I don't know. Well, there's it's the just, um... depends who's writing it, right? The, like, yeah. If the sorcerer is the one creating this construct, then the sorcerer is all about intent. So I mean, maybe it really doesn't matter what the runes say. It's, it's just the sorcerer intended them to work. <laughs> there's also there's also the story of the the golem. Typically, is written. What's it? By J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, I'm familiar. Well, no, I'm talking about the Jewish myth. 
oh, of the golem. golem from Lord of the Rings. Okay. No. Oh, the one where they put the paper in his mouth or something. Yeah, yeah they write like... on its tongue. I think it's the word of like name of God or something, and like that's what brings it to life. And then uh, I think okay. they change the word, and then it stops being alive or something. <laughs> where did they put the off switch inside the tongue? <laughs> sure, I I'd put it like back maybe. Well, it, yeah. they they weren't like it wasn't a Frankenstein thing or anything where it was like evil. It was like I think for the most part good kind of oh. thing. Okay, I'm with you now. Yeah. Part of the All secret. right. Well, I think I'm gonna need to uh, take a short rest. Of... I am feeling quite battered as Alabaster. Alabaster. Uh, yep, that's the one. Well, that was fun. It was something. But I don't think this is what we're looking for. This just raises more questions for me. I've yeah, I've got some problems with this. These beings don't eat mushrooms. I click. Yep. As the sort of rock falls away from Krios, he goes back to the crystal. Form. <laughs> if that was that was fun. It's been a yeah. while. Goddamn maniac! <laughs> if I click short rest, what does it do? Um, it short rest is rest. like overnight. Oh. Hmm? But doing the gritty, like the long resting rules. Ah, ah. Well, how about we have a long night's rest here? Yeah. You can I... probably. Do you want to we grab the back... evidence? We can go back and rest. Like, yeah, tag, bag, tag. Of... Yeah. I'm not one for resting out of here. It I doesn't my... seem the safest, especially I with have the my bite marks. Yeah, I, I'm down to go back home, mm -hmm. and. We'll, we'll scope it out again. Yeah, how far from, like, oh. Rypar are we? Uh, not that far, really. Sort of. Maybe an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, okay. Right, well, I'll carry one. I'm quite interested to see how these things tick, so I'm going to take one apart. Uh, you, you can have the other. Yeah, I'm sure... It'll come in handy. Mm. I really hope this doesn't randomly turn back on, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. It's pretty busted. What could, what could go wrong? All right, uh, Sebastian, I think I'm gonna need your help with this one. Right away. Sort so. of. They're they're only like probably like maybe that long and about that sort of thick. How heavy is it? Uh probably oh, probably around. Like, I want to say eight kilos. Okay. Fuck, that's pretty light. We'll, we'll take yeah. turns. Yeah. Krios is just going to split his in two pieces, just in case. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Just going to just gonna take some time. We're going to to do that. I might just Push like... Push from me and I can see how well you do it. Seven. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not very um, precise. Well, I haven't done this in a while. I should probably have done this back at the back at the end. Oh well, off oh. we go. I'm gonna shoot the spider, um, spider slug at it, and just kind of like web it up. Ooh. Yep. Let me just play the slug wing sound again. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Stream will enjoy that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's let's head back home, and we'll reconvene in the morning. Yeah, after okay. we take a nice and short rest. So, head back to Brightboro. And anything else you wish to do just during the day? Since it was pretty... I'd like to inspect the fungus again and see if it is better, worse, or the same as when we left. All right, roll me a nature. Well, nothing really has changed that much. It's not a... Nothing really... Yeah, it's sort of similar to when you left. That's better than it being worse. Okay. Um, after I... I'll go back, let Linda know what happened, and then I batted up, and I was going to take it easy for today and just go around and ask some questions about it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna 
we we'll have to talk to Kriost and also to Caleb. Caleb is to the north a bit. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll you probably Caleb's house. Yeah, probably. yeah. You probably walk past his or pa actually past the path where you need to go to his on the way back. Damn it, you're sneaky, you're stuck by us. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just we'll just drop off the the clockwork carcass somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just in evidence. Yeah. Yep, I guess. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to grab Krios and probably head to Caleb's to talk about the the rock. Which which rock? Johnson. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, the warm rock. That oh, I've got nothing to do with that. Nope, wasn't me. No, I just got to ask about the adventurer who possessed it before Caleb. You know. Oh, you know, I do have a bit of a intellectual interest in interesting rocks, so I'll come along just to find out about this one. Yep, yep, no worries. <laughs> uh, Where's that um... deputy of yours? He better not be an earshot. <laughs> it's fine, because I didn't know that the transaction occurred. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't know anything, so... But, uh, right, maybe... let's go find this person and get your interesting interests. Yep, we're just going to have a talk about the warm rock that Caleb somehow acquired. He acquired a rock, did he? Yep. My head got, yes, yes, he told my me head all got about banged it. up pretty hard there, so if we did mention it before, I've already forgotten it. Yeah. My apologies. People, people love telling me about rocks. It's something about mm. the fact that I sell them and buy them. <laughs> in fact, in fact, he sold me, uh, just recently, for a uh, very regular transaction, he sold me this, uh, this frozen water rock thing. Ice. Well, not quite. See, it's 25-ish degrees here. It's quite oh, warm. It's but <laughs> it's not yeah. melting. See? How? I'll lick it. Does it taste like ice? I think your tongue would get stuck to it, right? Yeah, it's cold. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> what's the next step? <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. That's like the oldest trick in the book. All uh, right, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> no, that's my rocket. Oh, it's fuck, my fuck, it's like the fuck, sorry, buddy. You have the rock back. I, I physically cannot. <laughs> well, you're going to stay there until it maybe melts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, press the digitation, just create like a slight warmth, and, and oh, hopefully... Yeah. Slowly you disconnect it from his tongue. You can't defrost the rock, but you can defrost my tongue. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so. yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, eventually yeah. you just wait until it... Yeah. It's just like, it's not even just like heating the tongue. It's like not melting it. It's just like making the tongue produce enough saliva. Yeah, it just that's... Slips off. Yeah. That's the real part of it. Yeah. And then... The precipitation was just to distract me while my saliva yeah. was manufactured. <laughs> you just make the rock taste like something. Yeah, it's quite delicious. <laughs> you just start scraping the Himalayan salt rock onto his tongue a bit more. <laughs> yeah, Brand pretty much. much. Well, it goes back on the table. Yet another curiosity. Anyway, let off to Caleb's. Mm -hmm. You'll Yo. be alone, as usual. <laughs> um, you can just walk to Caleb's. Rip Caleb. Um, he's got just like a nice little place. Um, sort of at the end of a tunnel, there's like a little, um, sort of a, you know, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of cabin kind of thing, homey sort of small thing. There's like a mailbox outside and a door to go in. Mm -hmm. uh, do we see Caleb out and about, or does it seem like he's home? Does it seem like someone's home? Um... Yeah, probably the lights are on inside. Sure, I guess I'll knock on the door. Yeah, bum bum bum. Hello. Oh, sure. Hey, Caleb. Uh, so I believe you've come into possession of a warm rock. Yeah, bought it from Chris today. <laughs> I'm sure that occurred. Okay. We... Niggas up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> We've come into a bit of a problem up north. Yeah. I might need to borrow the rock 
to see if he can help out. So, because you're a little bit up north from like the rest of Brightborough, and you probably bought it because you just found it was a little bit cold, right? It's been cold recently, yeah. Yeah, so so it's it's even colder just a, a little bit further out of town. So normally there are the heat rocks in the north cavern, but they've all gone missing, and something's happened up there. I'm I might. I, I don't want to take away the rock, but I might need to just to help warm up that area and see if it returns things to normal. Um, is that okay, Caleb? I... Oh, oh, Master, one second. That's not how rocks work. It... We just need, like, something. Because, like, something to help alleviate it even a little bit. Because it is quite but, cold. But, but the Fungomancer said, right? The Fungomancer said... The bite marks had had ice on them, so I think whatever's eating the fungus is also eating the heat rocks. You reckon? Or getting rid of them somehow, That's because it's leaving ice everywhere. Then we could bait it out with another heat rock. Don't take my words out of context. I'm merely doing my juju deed to protect the interests of my customers. Yeah, what if? I need to make sure the place is nice in case I get a guest. What? Yes, yes, yes. So many guests. And, like, you look in this place, and this place is, like, spotless. It is, like, basically ready for guests. Hang on. Am I, am I, am I intimidation or persuasion? Just because <laughs> that'll determine how I talk to this man. Mm -hmm. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Both. <laughs> oh, nice. I'll pull, pull You're a good cop and bad cop. Yeah, pull the shirt aside. So, uh. Am I good cop or you good cop? Uh, uh let me check my stats really quick. <laughs> 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 Alright, my intimidation is not great. Okay. And my persuasion is the same. I guess I am <laughs> I can do either, because I can't do either. You you, know how you, you've got a reputation to uphold as as a as an easygoing sheriff, right? Something like that. Ah, uh, so it'd be so I should probably be bad cop. I wonder what they're whispering about. I, I haven't the foggiest now, good second. Caleb, you must tell me, where did you find that little icy, icy oddity that you gave me this morning? I'm so interested in it. I was just going for a walk, I went up a bit north and then it got a bit cold and then I saw it on the ground and I was like, oh, that's funny. Did you see anything else while you were up there? Like, you know, big, terrifying creatures of any sort? No. No? None, no, no, like, odd bronze clockworky things that wanted you dead? Um, let's see, what has he... I think the butler did it. <laughs> the sheriff and I just talk, and, like, all the while his interrogation's going, so, okay, but... Let's see, so, so I'm just, like, thing. trying to map out the cabin, so he's north, he's probably Sweet, right? on the west, sort of, you go north and the west a little bit down a tunnel. So he, that would be... Ah, uh, I mean, I've heard a lot of noise from the east, but... Kind of northeast from here, but just some echoing. Oh, might yes, be strange. Yes. Okay, okay. I do really wish I had have come and spoken to you first, because I, ha I had my first little tussle with something hostile. Oh. It's been a while, Caleb. It's been Last a long time. time. Yes, remember when we fought together back at the, the pre-fungal days? They didn't know what hit them. Oh, no. Launching you at the what a brilliant stroke of genius! Yes, yes. But it was my boyfriend gave me that idea. Yes, 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 he did. Yes. Anyway, um, I love how I love what you've done with the place. It's so warm. Thank you, thank you. Yes, truly, truly a great business decision. Yes. Now, um, good, good alabaster and uh. uh Deputy Spint? Sp Shint? Shit? Spindler. Splint? That's it, that's Splint! The one, that's the one. Good job. Good job, Kurios. Yeah, so, I think... We've got it. We've received a decision. I'm probably good cop. Yeah. I... I'm also right. good cop. <laughs> okay, okay, we're just two good cops. We're, we're great cops, actually. I'm the best cop, actually. That's why I got moved here. Just yeah, to help yeah. out the, the crime in this city. Wait, maybe yeah. you should be back up then. Maybe not. 
Anyways, uh, Caleb. Yeah. So, probably not today, but bringing a heat rock might help us out in our investigation, and it might help bring back the heat rocks later, and when that happens, I will personally get you another heat rock. I will go up there myself and grab you one, but I might need to borrow this one tomorrow. Roll me a persuasion. All right. I, I really should have actually helped out there, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Well, he knows it's more, him. more funny if if we just roll with it. Come on. Oh, please, God. I was just I was just enamored by his his his. <laughs> All right. Is it? Uh, I don't know. I think surely Kraus can get you another one. Okay. Krios. Um. I guess. I guess it's time. Kraus is a great businessman. He can find you any crystal you need. Is it time for bad cop? I can, in fact, normally do so. All right. I might have a network. I'm. Kraus is like his merchant. Persona <laughs> cannot let him say I can't do it. Is there, right? is there, is there like, a table here? Like, you know, the customer is always right, and Caleb has just said I can do it. <laughs> so Krios has determined he can do it. The question <laughs> is just how. Is is there a is there a table in here, by the way? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, I would like to uh, slam both my hands on the table. <laughs> I think you're near the door, so you have to walk past him to do yeah, the I'll table. Yeah, I'll be looking around. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> And I put my hand out at him, and I say, What you're doing here is impeding a police investigation. I'm from the capital, which makes me a federal agent. <laughs> surrender the surrender the heat rock, or you'll be held you'll be held no, liable. No, we're not but... surrendering the heat rock, <laughs> but it would be really helpful. <laughs> it's the good cop, bad cop. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm laying on the bad cop. I just wanted wanted to think that uh, <laughs> he's gonna get in trouble if he doesn't. Lend us the heat rock. Yeah, hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> roll yeah, me. I'll hold me back. Like, <laughs> roll me I'll, intimidation. I'll okay, okay. I'll start walking towards him as like the sheriff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. also, I'm pretty sure anything you said. Like, technically, you are an officer, like of the federation. You are a federal agent. Yeah. <laughs> I think 16. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Take it. Take it. I don't want any trouble. Okay, With, uh, and if I get any trouble, I will get you a heat rock. What? 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 <laughs> What's a fucking federal agent? <laughs> He's gonna whisper like Krios. I, I, I don't know. I've just been told that as a merchant, I don't want them sniffing around. Look, so I... he's, he's new here. I just gotta teach him how it works in Brightborough. It, it'll blow over. Oh, I we need to just... teach him how it works in oh, Brightborough. Here we go. Not, not, ah. like that. not like what we just did earlier today. We just. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Just, just... Ah, so so I need to teach him how it works in Brightboro. Because you've got a lot on your plate. I'm gonna get killed by the mafia, aren't I? I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like look at my slug blast up like how did it I'm not this? getting paid enough for this. I've been here for like so long. You know Wait, what, you're getting Korea? paid? I better be. Why would I be here? <laughs> Don't Anyways, do for, for the good of the people, do I yeah. look like someone who do it for the good of the people? Yes, you look like quite the upstanding. Citizen. I'm a rock with eye bags. <laughs> How's that even possible? <laughs> you raise a very strong point. Just, I, I gotta teach you how it works here, but Brad that Barrow, works. Yes. I, I can't be too mad at you, <laughs> Caleb. Again, sorry. I'll get this back to you. Thank you for being so. Uh, Compliant with us. Um, <laughs> Didn't have a choice. We'll see you soon. <laughs> We're gonna send him a sweat. <laughs> okay. And yeah, your your house is really nice, really well looked after. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm sure guests will be pleased with it, and we yeah. just walk off. We just walk no, off. No dust flew up when I slapped my thing on it. it, was, it normally, it just goes flying. Shit. Anyway, <laughs> good day. It's really hard to do, especially if you're like underground. <laughs> <laughs> he just like slams it. It's like. Oh crap, I left fingerprints on the shiny table. <laughs> yeah, like he's, as, as he's talking to him, like I've got my sleeve and I'm just, like my cloak, my cloak, like, cloak, <laughs> like, and I'm just, like, as like, as, like, as he's walking over there, I like elbow, uh, elbow, Grace, and I'm like, yeah, can you press the digitate the, the, the table? I think I left the handprint, I don't want to. Oh, yes, come on. Fix up the table, fix up the table, fix up the table. Ah, 
Thank you for your compliance, citizen. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we get outside, I'm like, Deputy, you have terrible business sense. What? If Are you telling me you've got a second rock? No, but I sold something to a customer and then you took it from him. That's not good business. It's not a supply demand well, to me. We didn't take it, we're just borrowing it. Oh, yeah, so yes, I can't be you're associated with this kind of predatory lending. I'll get him. I'll get him one. I'll get him plenty of heat rocks. We just gotta get. We just gotta solve the heat rocks problem. <laughs> this is a police investigation. We got. We, we gotta. We gotta do shit. Uh, who took the heat okay. rock? Uh, uh, I guess it was the dep the sheriff has it. Yeah, I think that's probably the best call. Well, I would have handed it to him if he was handing it to. I, I think what happened was I, I scared him, and then good cop came in, and so he handed it to good cop. Yeah. Yeah. And then I killed him. No. Um, you know. No. no, that's that's frowned upon in law enforcement, so I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I don't know how it works in the capital, but we don't do that here. <laughs> the capital is quite stringent on their laws, Okay. which I follow. Yep, I'm sure you Okay, will. well... I'm a good boy. Well, heat rock acquired. You know um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to bed. That's a good call. <laughs> um, I know it's like two in the afternoon, but I'm going to bed because yeah, it's been a day, and then... That's... I am now compelled, as a uh, a citizen of Brightborough, <laughs> and a vested interest in the return of that heat rock to my uh, customer, mm -hmm. so I shall follow along with you tomorrow and make sure that it gets used properly and back to him promptly. Agreed, agreed. I shall um, hear no argument. That, let's let's uh, meet back up with Fungomancer and reiterate everything. It'd be highly unethical to, to take something from somebody and... Uh, to claim something in a raid and then not deliver it back once we no longer need it. Against exactly. yes, regulation. Exactly. So help me, I will drop salt on you. I'll eat it. <laughs> but they're, they're quite big. <laughs> salt. I got yeah, time. Like... <laughs> sure, it'll sure rest for a whole fucking eight hours. I got time to eat a rock. <laughs> Alright, so you head back into the town? Yep. Fungus, yep. man, sir. Fungerman, what have you been doing during this? Getting high as fuck. <laughs> I've been in inspecting the fungus more. <laughs> yep. Pondering the fungus. And looking over, it, looking after it. <laughs> you're probably still in the stage of like going, okay, how, like when you like see code or something, you go, okay, how does this fucking work? I think you're still kind of in that thing where you go, okay, so it's sending to there, and it's going spot. there. You're sort of like figuring out, okay, so how does all this, how is this all set up? Yeah. Like, and like, how, how does this in ecosystem operate? Yeah, because there's also like, like the last fundamental. The equilibrium. Some of the glow glow shrooms were like made into signs. Like the Creos Crystal Emporium is all like a red fungus. So during the day, it lights up. Yeah. And then, but then the pub has one that's like sort of on a, the opposite time. Ask oh, you. I love that. Thank you. Love that view. But yeah. Um, eventually the others come back. Hey. Hello. How's Hello. It so, we have heat rock. Uh, we've come to the conclusion that there are no heat rocks up north. Normally there are. Maybe something's been eating them. And we probably need the heat rocks um, to warm up the area for those mushrooms up there. And maybe there's also something to do with the nutrients. Anyways, we're going to use this heat rock that we've procured um, through very ethical means to bait out something tomorrow, though, because I am not up for it tonight. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. We're going to rest up tonight. We're gonna go back there with our heat rock. We're gonna probably fight something realistically. And yeah. We're gonna try fix the problems there. Any anyone else got any input? I'm still just stuck up on the fact that this this one could talk. You know, the previous stronger answer didn't. It's making my life a lot easier. Where, where, did you I... come, where, did, where did you come from, Funkomancer? Why are you different to the last one? 
I came from the colony. Ah, colonizer. <laughs> we have. Did we know anything about like a fungomancer colony before? It's the first time I'm hearing about this. This the last fucking mess. It wasn't a lot of a talker. <laughs> like okay. even this even psychically, they they didn't really reveal much. That's okay. I'm learning a lot, but but this is good news. This is good news for the town folk. Um, they were a little bit afraid of the previous fungomancer, but you seem perfectly sociable. I fungomancer think. means no harm. I know what it means. I thought it meant you controlled the fungus. <laughs> but yeah. The fungomancer's uh, duty is to serve most okay. of the fungus. Odd, odd question, Satch. Yep. Uh, in my many years in Brightboro, Here we go. how many fungomancers have there been? Uh, oh, you've been here like a long, long time, haven't you? Yeah. Like, Creos Crystal Emporium is. A crystal that has grown as a crystal from when Brightboro first existed. So probably, um, but there was the first one that first put in the fungus. Yep. And they probably, approximately how many years old is Creost? A couple how many thousand. Years old is Brightboro? Yeah, something around. That. Okay, and then, um, probably that that. Fungomancer probably got taken out by some um, Wukong or something yep. during the war. And then um, there's a last Fungomancer, and this is probably the third. Yeah, well, I mean, the last fellow, I tried to, probably for about a, uh, two months. I tried to talk to him every time that I saw him. So, you know, all four times. And um, he stiffed me off all four, so I decided he, he, did he what? wasn't wasn't worth my uh wasn't worth my time you know yeah. this one this one talks and i'm so i have so many questions you have no idea we could talk for hours oh i actually have one question that i forgot to ask from man so um like... with regarding the previous one where are we worried about the previous one are they good do we need to look into that at all they have moved on. I'm gonna like take that as a no. <laughs> ah, like his, like his predecessor. Do they move on as in like they die? Or their predecessor? I mean, I, to be fair, I didn't talk with them long enough to really get a sense. Uh, how long yeah. did you talk to them? One sentence? <laughs> they don't do there much no... more than that normally. Okay, okay, okay. There is no need to worry about the previous Fungomancer. I am the Fungomancer now. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> That's a Poor statement. Night. Excellent. It'd be weird coming from anyone but you. <laughs> yep. Well. Do you want to come with us to investigate the mushrooms tomorrow? Indeed. Then it's a date. Hell yeah. But you know, just, you're just, the, <laughs> just the regular sort of, you know, we're, we're going up and investigating the things. Not the sort of... Not the sort of days that are... It's common in Brightboro. You did... <laughs> One of rock kinds. You didn't have to make it weird until you did. It's only weird if you think it's weird. Uh, which... I think it's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with Sebastian oh, okay. on this one. Not frequent I... that the deputy has his own opinion, and not frequent that the I... sheriff Alabaster. agrees with the deputy's opinion. Alabaster, good sir. I simply cannot believe that you've been in Brightboro this long and have not partaken of the local succubus and incubus popu populations. I know, but the, the eyebrows just unsettled me with something that about one. it feels illegal i don't know what law i don't know if it's a real law or a fake something about it feels <laughs> it's Regardless. mutual needs come on <laughs> you don't live to 2000 and something. ignore opportunities come on it's a little too much coming people on people stay in bright borrow oh. uh, look i don't want to dwell on it I think that's a lot for our deputy for today. Um, I yeah. almost died. <laughs> Let's meet up first thing in the morning. And get ready for a tussle, I guess. Uh, anyone else doing anything with the rest of the day? 
Just sort of. Ah, I'll, sleep I'll be hella sleeping, yo. He'll be hella sleeping. I'll I be mean, we, pop, we still got we still got police stuff to do. Oh shit! I gotta like sign in. I gotta fill out a report. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna introduce report, you to the shit. rest of the team. Oh like, yeah. Properly. Yeah, um, yeah. A lunch. We'll know. have lunch probably. Yeah. Just yeah. gonna show you around. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll fill out the work myself. The priority incident report of uh, the sheriff almost getting killed by a lightning worm. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think that's workplace safety issues. So we're yeah, to... you have to wear a hard hat tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yep. Go enjoy your reporting. Uh, say hi to Linda. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. All right. <laughs> go in. Linda's. Oh, welcome back. Hey, Administrator Linda. Derek, Edgar, How... and Fred went off to um, the failed spas. Anthony yep. and Brooke right. went to the Tom Stones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know nothing's going to come out of that one, but yeah, we've got to do it. Yeah. Anyways. No, sorry, the John Stones. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, it's entirely different. Um, oh. And they'll be complaining about the same thing. Don't worry about it. Then Callum's just oh. figuring out with the school what they need. Yeah, so the investigation today didn't go that great. Probably going to have to do it again tomorrow. Um... They're all cut up and bloodied. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You just covered in orange blood of, and Sebastian red blood. Which is very I'm strange. Just like, I'm just like... Like limping into the office. Yeah, just, much. with like supporting each other. Like, kung, 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 kung. Yeah. <laughs> just um... char marks across like our chest and just fucking... I've got this heat rock. I'm going to put it in... It probably won't come all the way out here to Bright Bar if, if something's going around eating the heat rocks. Oh, sure. but if it is the oh, last heat rock. God, if we had oh. have left it with him, he oh, might he'd have got... be dead as shit. He'd yeah. be dead as shit. Oh, yeah. well, now that I think about it, we've done thing. the right thing in the wrong way, but it's definitely the right thing. Now, <laughs> the task um... failed successfully. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let me rethink this. Am I going to put the heat rock in evidence? Or are you going to keep it in your pillow? <laughs> Uh, definitely not that one. I don't want to die. Well, we could uh, like, vacuum seal it, couldn't we? Uh, well, no, we don't have the technology, but imagine if we could vacuum maybe, seal it. Maybe it's better for Krios, and then they can seal it up in the Emporium? Yeah, because it didn't jump Krios. Unless Krios is the... is the one eating all the worms. No, 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 Krios doesn't eat that. He just he just loves to chow down on sulfur and salt for that one week. I think he's, I think he's satisfied with salt craving, though. Um, Understood. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, heat rock, something's making it disappear. Also near that area was bite mark, so they could be linked. Okay. The mushrooms are also losing nutrients and they're going north in that area. Could be linked. Could be linked. Could be linked. Anyways, Into I'll do linked. some paperwork. Yeah, I'm going to do some paperwork and then I might talk to Krios about this heat rock, see what he thinks. Excellent. I'll also do some paperwork as a deputy. Do you, do you want just me to do the paperwork if you want to talk to Krios? I can... I mean, this is like, I've trained for this my whole life. You seem pretty eager. I'll, I'll be back soon. All right. I'll, I'll make okay. sure I'll look over to make sure he's doing all right. Yeah, um, look, look at him. He's gone. Look, he's already started. Oh my God. I'm like, fucking, him go. like, you, know, you, know scene, yeah. you know the scene in Death Note where it's like... Alabaster, <laughs> 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 um, please don't get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, you know, you know as well as I do that we need everyone we have here. You are yeah. indispensable. Thank you. Right, it's half done already. <laughs> Complete. You are indispensable. I'll be back. <laughs> more! <laughs> Administrator, fetch me more paper. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. She starts like. <laughs> Find some paperwork Give me the cold it. cases. <laughs> the fucking the land disputes. The fucking building inspections. It's like, oh, I've run out of things, but here's things we need to submit. We don't have those forms. I'll write them from memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think that law applies. We have like, because that's that's sort of a law that we have. It's like we have like a list of the book laws in the room. I'll update them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I like I I'll walk over to the oh, what page. You call it? <laughs> Sorry, Chris Crystal Emporium. Yep. Sure. Uh, the the crystal will be closed currently, but you uh -huh. can see that there's lights inside. So Krios yeah. is obviously 
obviously there. Alright, uh, we're gonna knock and hope that Krios isn't sleeping. Yeah. There is, like, a flurry of movement. And then it stops for a second. And then there's a slow opening of the door. <laughs> like the eye slit for the password thing. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, it opens a tiny bit. He sees your face and it opens the rest of the way. It's like, ah, oh, Alabaster, what can I do for you? Okay. As you can see here, heat crystal. Now, if it makes you feel any better, I have come to the realization that something was getting rid of the heat crystals up north, right? Yes. And Caleb's pretty close to up north, right? Yeah. Uh, Do you Caleb see where I'm going? Something <laughs> might have visited Caleb. He might have gotten the guest that he wanted. But probably not what he's looking for, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this heat. On the off chance that it does attract a beast. Oh, I'll just put it in a crystal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Because you've you've held onto it for a little bit. Yeah, you just you just take it, right? And then you put it in one of these, and Krios just brings like a not a crystal, but a geode, like uh -huh. one of those open geodes. And yeah. then he just takes the top half and the bottom half, and he's just like sandwich it in there, and then nobody can tell. Great, perfect. Um, so like a crystal that's... energy Faraday cage. Oh, yeah, basically. It. Yeah. Awesome. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, cool if I leave it with you until tomorrow? Yes! And this whole time... Like, wait, how perceptive are you? Like, do you have good insight? Maybe? I think so. I think it's so. decent. The little cycling is a wisdom dex... Yeah. Oh, dex wisdom. Oh, brilliant. It's the opposite of me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. I um, need one wisdom. Krios has specifically been, like, at the door. Right, there has not been like the the getting the geode was a mage hand backwards. Krios does not move from blocking the doorway with his body. Hmm. Everything okay in there, Krios? Yeah, yes, yes. Everything is quite all right. Good off. <laughs> it's just like a Krios shaped hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an actual doorway. Okay, okay. Yep. Can I see anything past Krios? <laughs> There, there is amethyst on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Chopped up with this. Like there's a library card next to it. Uh, okay. I see nothing. I'm gonna go back to my sheriff duties. I'm gonna turn around and just like stick my hand out behind my back. <laughs> and the mage hand just like picks up a tiny little crystal and brings it over. Yup, yup. Great, okay. Um, no worries, this is exactly what I needed. Um, I don't know how this got here. I'm gonna take this back to the office. Um, for Sheriff's things. Anyways, thanks for the help, Krios, I really appreciate it. Yes, sir, I shall see you tomorrow morning. Indeed. Getting a high on a work night? No, yeah, you know, yep. just, gonna just gonna pocket it. Um, Krios, where are you gonna look into the, um... Construct you found. Absolutely. So, not. I'm high as a kite right now. Um, jeez. <laughs> no. So before the the amethyst gets consumed, you know, it has to it has to sit and cure for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sure. it'd be exposed to the air. Yeah. Um. So Chris is gonna close up shop and Classic. would actually go over to Gringus's forge. Yep. Um. Uh. Knock knock, Gringus. But I assume it's a forge. There's probably like a big open entrance yeah. way to keep air circulating, yeah. sort of thing. It just is bang bang. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gringus, are you oh. are you in? Yeah, yeah, what do you mean? How you going, Christ? And it's just a. Uh, you have to walk past the <laughs> sheriff of the. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just like. <laughs> Oh, you know when you say goodbye to someone and then yeah, you walk yeah, the yes, direction? Yeah. It's just that, but five meters behind Alabaster the whole way. <laughs> I was Alabaster going home or back to the police we'll office? Go back to the office, we'll see, yeah. we'll see what's up. Yeah. Um, yep, so he's a dwarf, beard, very dwarfy. I'll figure out what he looks like next time. <laughs> dwarf? Beard, he's a dwarf. Very dwarfy. <laughs> yes, he's a, he's a dwarf. He's got a beard and he's just... Hammering on a bit of metal. <laughs> you 
as right. the time. Uh, Gringus, I have a project for you. Oh, what do you what do you say? Just dump the clockwork thing on a bench. <sighs> what the fuck is this? All right, let's have a squeeze of this. Let's have a squeeze of it, indeed. Oh. Uh, hmm. Looks like wizard shit. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yes, yes it is. What I was hoping you could help me with is the whole, um, taking it apart as metal pieces without, um, shattering it. Well, you've already kind of shattered it here, or in here, and it's in half, then like here. Yes, 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 but the, you know, you know, at the... Sometimes you have to uh, shave one particular growth to have a better crystalline mass, you know? So just, oh, that's insane. you know, um, ignore the fact that I've butchered it and uh, do your best, maybe? What do you, what do you need this like, part for? You're trying to get like the crystals inside it or something? Well, I'm just interested in how it works, you know? It spins and... Uh, it's something you might not know if you're not big into the old uh, clockwork. Is way back we had this tinkerer come through, and he did clockwork where there were rubies inside each of the gears to make them spin properly. Oh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very apparently a very common thing. Uh, back before they they worked out um, that wizard shit can do it for you. <laughs> they, they used to stick uh, rubies because rubies are so smooth if you do them properly. Uh, this would cue like a tangent that just does not stop. Let's see. So he he might be able to like I suppose smithing like stone smith and crystals are sort of tangentially related. So he can kind of he has like some input on this. Like there's like in some te techniques are similar, but some aren't. So yeah, he can have a chat with you about that. Um, while Sheriff, you get back to the office. Stacks of books just all like lying in the desks and shit. Just all like right. the, what, the things need my signature. It's like a shockwave, just like as each line that I write is just like blowing air back. <laughs> I also just like reading to learn the laws here. Yeah, this is also like that's like the ten, and then like after that's like a ten minute period of me like. And then back to. <laughs> this is a rest right, period. I've just got like a, a, like a stack of these and like a rubber stamp next to it. Nice. Is it you really yours, Sheriff? Yeah. Do, do, do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna have to sign things, aren't I? Well, I've also, and I'll put another form on top of that. Uh, I've also uh, drafted up an authorization form for me to uh, handle the rest of these. <laughs> Figured you might appreciate if I, that. If I do that, do I not have to do the ones you've already done, or that is, is it correct. like a? Oh, wow. <laughs> this dad is fucked. Look, he's doing a good job. I'm just gonna. Like, he's doing a good job, isn't he, Linda? I, I honestly don't know anymore. I don't know what he's done. Look, I didn't think we had this much paperwork. I've, I've been meaning to get through it. Where do we get paper anyway? Wait, no, it wasn't this big. Where did the? What? Did you? What happened? They're all signed. <laughs> It's all canon. <laughs> I think she's just picked up a fucking piece of paper. Oh. This guy's dead. <laughs> he never legally was. Ah. Uh, and now he is. Look, we're, we're making great progress. <laughs> oh, you're behind. <laughs> yeah, look. This town. It's one of those days. Has, this town has 300% of its actual population because they're all made up of dead. <laughs> We had one guy had a rock registered as his husband. No, that's <laughs> normal. Yeah, an yeah, actual that's... rock. No, it, that's normal. Yeah, it happens. Well, we don't judge okay. around here. Good thing, good thing I treated it as a valid case then. Because <laughs> there were 30 cases of those. Yeah, probably the same guy, honestly. <laughs> oh, you don't need, you don't, yeah, she don't need to do that when they broke up. Are they? But ah, but if you check the annals of the of the history, they got back together for a one night thing. Therefore, making me need to fill out subsection C, <laughs> section F. I don't think we need I to. Would, 
I don't even know how to do that, honestly. Look, <laughs> he's doing great. We're gonna get through it. Um, there's like millennia old legal books just like open, just like just. There's Some of those no books dust. predate Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> there's no dust on these. It's like you. Oh, you must have a very good cleaner to come through and uh, clean the inside of the books because they clearly haven't been left open on the. At that point, I'm just gonna to talk to Linda at the back. Uh, you got you got like the front as well, yeah. Yeah, I can handle this. Back, front, middle, got it all. Yep. All right. Just just give us a bit. I'll go up to the back of Linda. Pull out the amethyst, like. Ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you insist. <laughs> there we go. Getting fucking high. <laughs> it's just a, it's a fun, you know, fun thirty minutes at work. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a smoke break. We got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not so, nothing to <laughs> Don't smell your smoke, though. Okay. I love that we've got the crooked sheriff and administrator. We've got a literal crystal dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is how Bright Bar has always worked. Yeah. The I old love. sheriff did it with me. I'm passing it on eventually. <laughs> you know, the sheriff before that. Um, we've had a good thing going on with Kriost, and we're not going to stop that. Bright Burrow is the Bright Burrow. It's got its it's got its charms, it's got its flaws, but the things work out. I was it's gonna say that way. Yeah. Okay. Um anything else people are doing before the next day? Don't believe so. Alright. And the mushrooms all, you know, dim. Indicating what like, there doesn't really need to be a day and night because we're you know, underground, but might as well use the light yeah, of the hey. mushrooms to judge that. Except for probably Sebastian, who does have it, and um, probably also Cake Stan, who do have like circadian rhythms. Actually, no, yeah. Dwarves probably wouldn't. I need a sleepy time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just Sebastian who has a. It's like, but it's like, you get time, oh, time to go to bed. Life, life's especially hard for me because when I shut my eyes, I still see light because of my devil's sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone have a short rest? Oh, Hell God. yeah. All right. I pressed the short rest button. And, and then... nothing happened. Oh, no. Do I get health back? And um, you can spend your hit dice. Yeah, right. now we're in real gritty realism. Oh, my. Realism. Why is my character sheet? How many? Just one? Coding. As many as you like. You can spend as many as you like. Oh, okay. But you only get back and, half as And you add con, ones. right? Yes. yes. You can hit the hit dice character? button and it... Yeah. My character sheet's like whited out, like I can't access it. Do I need to click? What? Uh, it's because you high as fuck now. <laughs> you can't uh, see what's wrong? I can't like access my character sheet properly. I can click it, but I can't. Like it's um, not. Are you in bio and info? Oh no, God. not. Yeah, but I can't actually change off bio and info. Um, Should I start at started at total? I only had one. Oh, one? you start at max. Start at three. Yeah. Reason had one. You can spend. Yeah, about three to spend if you wish. No, it's still not working. Um. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, send a picture oh. of what your problem is. I might help. Oh man, feels great being I got all my spell slots back. Um, I don't believe so. No, because you're a long rest, uh... Class. You're a long rest class. Yeah, that means on a long rest you get your spells back. You're welcome, Warlock. Yeah. I've been here. When everyone else wants to take a long rest and you're like, I, I want to just take a short rest, guys. I'm out of abilities after one fight. Everyone's like, ah, oh, no, we're still good to go. And then... Oh, I got my hex, hex blades. Good. It's just, like, not fully loading. Oh, Agathas, I'm ready to fucking go. Do you I mean, am... uh... Roll for a I guess, I, but like I, I still won't be able to. Oh. Um, so you're free, fresh roll 20? Yep. Uh, try going into settings. Um, and uh, set these nuts on your. And go personal personalization display and try character pop out window. Nope. Uh, and then close out of the character sheet and open it again, maybe? Then try refreshing, it's sort of a itch to do. Okay. Pop it out. 
Bop it. Twist Why it. Why is it popping out? Why Shit. is it minimized? Okay, uh, ooh, that's not good. good also, what time do people want to end today? Yeah, that's also a good point. We can uh, end in the morning. End it at the night? Yeah, like yeah, as... if we end as we wake up, then we're ready to go and we don't have to handle resting stuff at the start of next session. Yeah, cool. we just jump on it. Alright, we can end it here. Yeah, it's still not loading. Um, um if we can do next time on Bright Fire and Ice. Hell yeah. See you next time on Raid. They're starting soon, so that'll work. That's a great obsidi. Thanks for watching, people. Yeah, no worries, Sachin. Thank you, everybody. Oh. See y'all next time. See you next time.